If you think this was not the fun part, stay tuned. I hate the hiking. <laughs> it always stresses me out. <sighs> Let's do it. I'm going to Paris tomorrow and I thought I'm just gonna take you along on how I plan and pack for a city trip. I will be staying in Paris for a little bit over a week. My last time in Paris was like over 10 years ago. So I'm gonna start like again with Paris. Obviously I'm gonna do some like very touristy things but also do some like shopping and just like sit in those beautiful gardens and do nothing and just drink coffee and eat all the like, delicious pastries and everything. But I love to be organized when I do a city trip. That's like completely different to when I just go to a more beachy um, location where my main goal is to do nothing and just relax in the sun. But with city trips, I always want to make the most out of my time there. So I'm going to share with you how I do that. So most of the time when I really want to make a plan, I use Canva uh, because I'm also a very like visual person and I like that it looks like nice and um, stuff like that. So that's definitely what I'm going to do. I go into Canva and I will show that somewhere here how it looks. I'll go into Canva and really just make a day to day plan. Obviously, it's kind of hard with like timings because you never really know how long a certain tour or, you know, if you want to go and go into a museum, for example, you never know how much time you're actually going to have in there or how much time you need. Uh, I try to always go with the flow and don't stress. So I usually just have a plan on like when to wake up, when to have breakfast and kind of like the first real stop because that's something that I can like easily plan because obviously you know how long you need in the mornings, how long you will need to have breakfast and stuff like that. But then afterwards, I just like make um, a couple of plans that I would like to have on that day and then maybe do... Um, know when to actually have dinner because sometimes you just need dinner reservations for a certain restaurant and that's kind of like the main thing that i have everything else is kind of like flowy and i always write like notes uh, down below on anything that would be lovely to do in that area but it really depends on if um i still have time or not so that way i don't get like stressed that i need to do everything but i kind of have a plan and what's very important for me that I don't miss anything really cool that I want to see or want to do. So for example, um, this is the plan for Saturday. I have like when I uh, wake up, uh, when we go to breakfast, like where are we going to have a breakfast? If you're planning to stay in Paris for a couple of days and you're interested in um, my in my Paris itinerary, just let me know. Um, just write me a DM on Instagram and I can send that to you uh, if it's like less work for you. It took me a couple of hours to do that with like research, buying ticket where I need to tick, uh, buy tickets, stuff like that. It definitely makes sense to book tickets in advance. Also like Disneyland, we're going to Disneyland. So we all like book the tickets in advance to make sure um, that we can actually do it while we're there so we don't miss it. So, um, so we already booked those tickets. The only thing that we didn't get is um, tickets for the Eiffel Tower. So um, we'll see if we're gonna get there or not. We're trying to get in in the morning and we're still like every day checking if there are still like tickets available, but um, it's just like crazy booked. So we'll see. And also because Paris, I mean, um, it's kind of like the same as uh, as in other like major cities. Sometimes it's even hard to um, you know be able to get a like dinner reservation because all those really nice um, restaurants are usually booked. So we planned that ahead and made some reservations. Also, sometimes for breakfast, if reservations 
are possible. So yeah, that's the first step that I did when planning for city trips. I know it takes time, but I always feel like it's, it's worth it. And then based on that, I mean, obviously you still have the weather that, you know, can like totally mess up any plans, but that's something, you know, that just happened. So, but for now it looks pretty good for Paris. So I'm really, really stoked. And the next part, based on that itinerary, I will go through what I actually need to pack. Because then I know how much walking will there be, if I will spend most of the time inside, outside, um, how comfortable I need to be or how chic I need to be for like restaurants and stuff like that. So based on that, I will start packing. That's usually how I do it. And then I will take you along for that in a second. Really plan out, be like, okay, for that day, I need that kind of, especially with the shoes. I try to be comfortable. Um, when we do a lot of walking, it can be a little more chic if we just basically go from like shops to shops or just like sit down in the gardens and enjoy the day. So based on that, I will do that. And also always uh, had some like two other options for if it gets like warmer or colder than expected. Also what I do before, uh, sometimes I go over to Pinterest and just um, see if there are like any cute um, outfits I can take as inspiration. Mm, make like a little board so I don't be as frustrated <laughs> with my ideas when packing because that's usually like stresses me out. So yeah, but now um, enough with the talking. Let's over, head over and pack. I don't want to. I hate packing. <laughs> it always stresses me out. <sighs> but we gotta face it. So let's do that. I don't know if you can probably hear the dishwasher and the washing machine and I'm sorry for that, but I'm gonna pack now. The, where is my phone? Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is check out the weather. Obviously you can fully rely on it, but just that I have some of what of an idea on how it's gonna be. It's gonna be like between like 15 to 23 degrees Celsius throughout the whole week. So that's gonna be pretty nice weather, sunny, could be a little rain, but not sure yet. So that's gonna be the weather and that's what I'm gonna pack for. And next to it, I have my laptop here. Not sure if you can see that. And I have like my, what I had in mind for outfits on there so I can think about that. And then I usually um, pack for the day. So I'm gonna start with, I'm not gonna start, oh yeah, that's maybe another tip. I'm not gonna start with the date of arrival because I feel like what I'm gonna wear then is definitely something that I don't wanna wear throughout the week. So that's usually the last thing I pack. I'm gonna start with the first day. On the first day, we're gonna do a lot of walking and um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that. And since I'm not sure how the weather is, I'm definitely gonna go with something, like maybe a t-shirt, some pants, and th something to cover. Uh, yeah, that's kind of the idea. Let's do it. I think first day I'm gonna go with black jeans, t-shirt. And I'm all gonna like lay it just here. And then if I have kind of the outfits together, I'm just gonna put it on. And then to see if it like really looks, looks nice. <laughs> I feel like I have now everything here, but it's so hard because some things are still drying. Now I need to do the outfits. I feel like I'm gonna leave for a whole month. I 
feel like I'm done. Uh, at least for the most part. There's still like two jeans that I probably want to take. Like one for sure. The other one maybe that is still drying. But now comes the not so fun part. <laughs> if you think this was not the fun part, stay tuned. Um, uh, now I'm gonna try on every single look that I have planned. And make a photo of it so I actually remember what I wanted to pair with what. Because otherwise I will stand there look at the closet and be like, I don't know what I want to wear. <laughs> and I don't know how I wanted to combine that. So, let the fun begin. And the thing is, why that's the hardest part, because I then, if I realize that one look doesn't work out the way I want it to, everything starts from the beginning and then I have to, find another look of it. So fingers crossed, knocking on wood, doing whatever to the universe, that this will work. Okay, as you can see, I am nearly done. I look a little bit destroyed from putting on all the clothes to make the outfit pictures. But there is one thing that I want to share on how I kind of like store my jewelry when I'm on the way because I don't have like a typical jewelry box or anything so especially for my necklaces so I will take some paper towel and then I'm just and I'm just gonna that one is a little bit tough I'm gonna put it in here in the middle I hope you can see that. And I'm just gonna wrap the paper towel around it and then kind of fold it back. I think with the smaller necklace, I think it's easier to show. So I'm just gonna lay it here, fold it once, and then just like roll it up and a good thing is that you can like use a paper or a towel multiple times so it's not like going to waste after one use and that's that and just put it in here as well and I'm not going to put that into paper or towel because it doesn't tail and in there so and this way um, nothing can get um, broken or anything so that's all my jewelry I'm taking. Thank you so much for watching my video on how I plan a pack for a city trip to Paris. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, then please like and subscribe to my channel also let me know if you have any other great uh, tips for packing and planning leave it in the comments down below and thank you so much and hope you have a wonderful day